Now I recently was um, trying to get all of my small parts in order and put them in different little bags and I had one bag which had a couple different Zener diodes in there with uh, Zener diodes rated at different voltages and I didn't know what was what. So now I'm going to go ahead and show how I figured out which was which. Now these two here um, they're both Zener diodes, but they're both rated at different uh, voltages. They have different, I guess, Zener breakdown voltages. And I'm going to go ahead and show how I figured it out. So what I need for this test is a variable DC power supply. Of course, the Zener diodes, a voltmeter. And we need a current limiting resistor, which I have already put here on the breadboard. This is a, I think this is a half a watt, 1.2K, 1, 1 1,200 ohms. Since I couldn't find my 1,000 ohm resistor, so I'm just using this. This should be fine. And what I'm going to do is, of course, this current limiting resistor uh, does exactly what it says. It limits the current, so this thing doesn't, so the Zener doesn't uh, basically burn up. Um... I'm going to go ahead and hook the positive lead to the power supply to this end and the cathode of the Zener is going to be hooked up to the other end of the, re of the resistor and then across the Zener I'm going to go ahead and put a, the DC voltmeter. You got to remember that the, um, the Zener is hooked up the opposite way of a normal normal diode that's why we have the feeding the positive voltage here to the cathode and not the anode of course the black band here on the left here that is the cathode now I'm going to hook everything up the positive lead of the power supply is going to go right here to this end of that resistor and we've got the negative is going to the other end of the Zener of course this is all this here is all connected through the breadboard the voltmeter we're going to go ahead and put that across the Zener diode So we got that across the Zener diode and looks like I think I'm about ready. I didn't forget anything. So let me go ahead and turn the voltmeter on. And now I'm going to go ahead and turn on the power supply. I'm slowly going to bring up the voltage. Just a little at a time. And then once the diode, once the diode starts zenering, so to speak, the voltage is not going to rise anymore. It's going to be a constant voltage, which is what a zener diode is supposed to do. It's supposed to keep a voltage constant. So I'm turning up and I'm going and going, but nothing at all is happening anymore. So I would say it's 5.2 volts. This is the, basically, when the diode Zener. So this is the 5.2 volt Zener diode. Let me go ahead and try the other diode. Now I have the second um, Zener diode hooked up. And I'm slowly going to increase the voltage of the power supply. And, of course, once it... Once the voltage stops going up, then I'm going to know I reach the Zener voltage. And then I'm not going to turn it up, uh, keep on going. That wouldn't make any sense. I'm up to 18 volts already. And I'm turning. It looks like it's stopping right there. So I would say this is around a... Looks like 18.2 volt Zener diode. So... 
That's how you figure that out. Now here's a primitive drawing. What I did, of course, here on the left are the hookups for the power supply. Here's that resistor. Um, here's the inner diode. Here's my voltmeter. Cross that. I would say this is a reasonably accurate way of doing this. Um, I was able to find a parts list of what I had ordered and um, this one I think the last one I tested that should have been 18 volts and the dial before that was supposed to be a 5.1 um, 5.1 volt um, Zener diode so I'm, I'm actually pretty close I think what I could also did is maybe hooked up a uh, ammeter in series here and um, then checked out when the current started increasing um, a lot but the voltage would stay the same right at that point that might have been able to increase the accuracy a little bit but in my case it wasn't necessary I just wanted to know what's what uh, anyways I don't think I have anything to add uh, thanks for watching